Welcome to the MKTG 2032 eMarketing Shadow Hawker series. Now, in this subject, I have three different class types. I have the Monday afternoon daylight class, which is affectionately referred to as the daywalkers. I have my evening class, which are the night stalkers. They're also on a Monday. And then I have my third class, and we're in it right now. These are the shadow hawkers. This is a deliberately designed self-service vending machine of education. It is the same content as the live event seminars from the Monday, just pre-recorded well in advance of the start of semester and set up to be released on a Wednesday. So if it's a Wednesday and you're seeing one of these, g'day, you're one of the shadow hawkers. And the general idea is that my course is designed to be able to be done, whether you can make a live event, whether you are going to be a friend of the channel via remote access, whether you can sometimes make a Monday, sometimes you can't. However it works, we want to support you. And to do that, this is one of the features of the course, the self-service mode. So this is O-Week, uh, this is the breakdown, this is the explainer introductory, and a chance for me to go and also make certain everything's working. So. Cheers mates, welcome to the squad. How it's gonna work? There are going to be 12 of these sessions. In week nine, because there's a public holiday, everybody gets to use the system, so everybody gets to experience it at least once. If you are going to go down this path and you're going to do the self-service mode, there's just a couple of things that you're going to need to consider, and I'm pretty keen for you to consider them from the outset. This is why, back here in week zero, we've got this video. So. The very first thing to understand is that the live events on the Monday contribute to the participation and engagement scoring opportunity. Now, participation and engagement in my subject is spread across a series of different possible ways. If you really like face-to-face -face and you love being in a seminar that's online in Zoom, Congratulations, you're gonna love a Monday. If you're a bit more of the in-person, in-room type, then you're gonna love a Tuesday. If the idea of interacting with humans in real time is not your forte, welcome to Wednesdays. But also, because you are not accessing the live real-time events, then that's one of the pathways to participation and engagement that simply isn't going to be uh, there for you. So what we do instead is that we make certain you can use the Padlet, and we make certain that you can engage in the forum, and we have a whole bunch of other different ways you can engage with the subject, so that you're still a full-fledged member of the squad, just you don't do Mondays. The couple of things on the screen to point out to you are the handouts on Wattle. Now, each of these seminars is going to make reference to a Word document. Those Word documents will be available on the website, they will be on the Wattle. They are usually handed out over the Zoom chat in the class, in the live events. I'm gonna task you with downloading your file, opening your file, have it up in Word, and interacting with it. During the live events, I will say to students, here's 10 minutes for you to go off into a breakout room and talk to each other. In your event, you're gonna have 10 minutes, you're gonna self-service that and look after yourself and run it solo. The new thing for 2022 is the Slido. Now the Slido has been in place for the live learning events for the last two seasons. I'm leaving open the Slido responses for longer this time. We're not closing out those uh, reactions. Now they are designed, again I want to emphasize, this tool was designed to be used with the live learning. That said, I'm going to leave open the response forums so that you can react to some of the questions so you can fill out and so we can test to see whether this works as a function after the event. So we're keen to see how it works, keen to see how it goes and give us some feedback. Uh, again, we're adapting a tool that was designed for live interaction and using it for delayed responses. Should be really cool. Now, this is a pre-recording at time of the O-Week recording. It is some point in June. It is a beautiful day here and I am going to batch record the entire semester before the semester starts. It will be timetabled 
as in I will have it on a scheduled release form, I will stream it out of YouTube on delayed release, it'll show up on your Wednesday. There's one other footnote to this, and that is the risk of content drift. This is the most structured part of the course insofar as right now I get to do how I want to do, roll it out, and interaction sold separately. In the event of significant content drift, for example, week six suddenly becomes week five or 12 or whatever, I will come back in and re-record. But if there's minor content drift or people raise things in the forums and I interact with the live events and shift some of the content on or off, I'm not gonna come back. So that's a caveat. Uh, there's a warning on each of the weeks that because this is a pre-recorded event, it's pre-recorded. I'm good, but I'm not brilliant at future-proofing material. Now, a quick overview of the run schedule. It is a combination. So one of the things here is that there are two assessment tasks that become high points, peak points in the semester. The first is the e the ET, the e-technology engagement analysis. That comes in at the end of week four, which means that you are going to use content block number one, which is the foundations, overview, strategy, tactics, and consumer behavior, plus the value problem. That document creates a project, and that project you will then run from week four through to week 12, and maybe even beyond. In week 12, you will have the e-technology performance review, the e-taper. So there's the ET and the e-taper. When you encounter the e-taper, that's the culmination, that's a culmination, it's a high point of talking about the live project that you've been engaged with in the weeks. In between, there are the participation and engagement, and this is a multifaceted, at least four ways to play uh, approach. Since you're here, probably you're not using the seminar, but also seminar, tutorial, Waddle Forum, Padlet, bonus DLC rounds. There are five ways to score points and you can score points across those five because people have. I'm quite happy about the way people have scored those points, so I hope you are too. And the last part, the e-portfolio. We will make reference to it along the way. As the shadow team, as the team doing this in self-service, the e-portfolio tasks show up in the back end of your Word documents. There's a lot of reflect on the experience, reflect how was it for you, and there's a few different ways in which we support you to get there. So we're really, there's also uh, dedicated videos to each of the assessment tasks, uh, which is why we're not gonna cover it completely here. They're out on the waddle. So if in doubt, over the course of this semester, you'll see that we've really, we've chunked it down into three blocks. We've got the top tier overview, the strategy, tactics, fundamental theories, and value offer. You've got the marketing mix, because what is the point of a value offer if you can't get it to the market, and the market can't access it because they can't afford it? And then we go into applications. And the applications aspect is one where there's a lot of self-service behavior of me giving you a task on this video and saying, go off, do it, come back. And we've got a few different ways to make that work. But functionally and overwhelmingly, you're about to embrace one of marketing's, and that is the theory of co-creation. This whole course is built on the general idea that theory is very practical and very easy to apply in practice. So long as you know what the theory is, you know how to make it happen. So we'll talk about this more in the weeks, but functionally, by using the self-service mode, you're doing it your way, you're having it your way, you're doing it as a custom self-service, self-delivery, and that is about as co-creation of value in practice as could muster from our theoretical frameworks. So welcome aboard, welcome to marketing, you're soaking in it. It's gonna be great too. It's gonna, like, this is here to support you getting through the semester with your restraints and constraints and with your opportunity. So a few things to consider. One, there is no coming back at the end of the semester and going, oh, I took the Shadowhawk as self-service mode, but I'd like to appeal my grades because I didn't do as good as the forum live at learning people. Nah, mate, nah. Um, this is a respected, genuinely supported uh, pathway. It is actually the spine upon which the subject is built because I write your content first, then I go make it work for the live event. So you are actually the backbone, you're the core. You are how this subject succeeds because I get to develop, design something that can be co-created by you and then I modify it so it can be co-created in the group. 
Of course, because you don't have the real-time access to me in the live events, you can, you are not excluded. If you can make a Monday, you are always welcome. Love to have new friends. But you can also drop a line through the booking form. We have consultation times set aside. We have a booking form to enable people to be able to reach out and make contact. And that's an element by which you can reach out. If you need to follow through, if I say something here that doesn't make sense, post up on the forum, leave a note on the Padlet, or contact me directly on the booking form. And I'm quite happy to have a face-to-face -face over Zoom or Teams just to help you out and help you along the way, clarify things. But also, one of the things is, look, I'm gonna support you. I'm gonna do what I can. Shadowhawkers are a legit, viable and respected part of the cohort. You are included. Each live learning event, when we go through and we show off the team identity images, it is Daywalker, Nightstalker, Shadowhawker. You are part of the family. So with that in mind, you get to the end of the semester, please, have, please keep that in consideration of if by fate, fortune, or reason, you have opted out of the live events. I respect that. Please respect that. Your decision will be respected, but also the consequences of your decision will be respected. If you get to the end of the season and go, wow, oh, that was not the fun party I was expecting because I never went to any of the classes, that was, that was a choice. So to re-emphasize, participation and engagement, 20 marks. You are going to need to use the Padlet, the forum, Maybe you can make the Tuesdays, maybe you can make the tutorials. Awesome if you can, it'd be great. Now, the tutorials will take place before your live event will go live. Uh, that's just a thing about me scheduling Wednesdays. I've got this locked in for Wednesday before they gave me the timetable. But if you're in the tutorials doing stuff, awesome. There's also the reason why we've got the forum is so you can interact with your classmates. If you want to set up other channels, if you want to use something like a uh, YouTube watch party or have a private Telegram channel or a WhatsApp or whatever, get on it, do it, have it your way. One of the things we will also do later in semester, there will be a point where people can recognize contributions of their peers during the course. And if you're running a Shadowhawker session, if you're teaming up with your mates and saying, hey, listen, what?" What say we all get together on a Thursday night and watch the shadow session and do the conversation and discussion with each other? Well, tip of the hat uh, to you. Well done, well played. But also, don't forget, your mates can back you up and nominate that for a, in the nominator mate. But what you are going to have to also factor in is that if you're not going to the seminars, don't get a shot title and you don't get a shot at points that you could score through a seminar. That said, if you go to the seminar and you don't do anything in the seminar, you don't get any points. There's no attendance marks. It's all about the engagement and the interaction. And you can, 20 from 20, you can HD, Super HD, Ultra HD on forum alone or Padlet alone. It's just a lot harder. If you combine approaches, it's a lot easier. So again, you, we're setting you up to support you to do it your way. Find your path. All right, let's get you talking uh, and let's give you a quick rundown how weekly activities are going to work. On the Wattle site, there will be the seminar documents. You will get to see where it says seminar documents. There's usually one per week, but if I find something cool on the way through and I'm like, hey, that's that'd be really useful, I'll link it up. I will throw things onto the Wattle when I find stuff and go, ooh, shiny, interesting, and that'll help a bunch of people. I will add content. I will say that if you are running self-service, uh, you are now responsible for watching the lecture video. They will all be up and available in advance. You will be responsible for your self-service access of these videos and also your self-service access of using the seminar documents. Not enough to just simply passively chill out in the corner and go, oh yeah, video's happening. You gotta engage, you gotta do. And the Padlet recap and the forums, you are, this is your home, this is where you will have some real opportunities. And the Padlet gets explained a little bit more, a little further down the way, but basically it's a place to be able to point to and post observations. It's separate from the Wattle Forum for a reason, and that reason is it's a different tool. It's giving you exposure to another way of integrating your knowledge with real world experience. Now, here's how it would work. Let's give you a demo exercise. Uh, what we're gonna do here is just show you how it would work. You'll get a slide like this. You'll get me explaining the exercise and 
what I'd like you to do is uh, I'm going to ask that you put 10 minutes. So we're going to trust you. Get your mobile phones out. Uh, if you spend that 10 minutes playing Candy Crush, that is so old school. It's wonderful. I love your work. But basically, we will get you to chuck a timer on. Put your self-timer on. And to facilitate that, I will say something to the effect of, and stand by to pause the video now. Welcome back. I'm assuming that 10 minutes went well. Here's what's going to happen next. Or I'll talk about a little debrief to the moment. But these pause play elements will be there to give you a chance to stop the video, interact with the document, do up your documentation, and then move to the next exercise. So gonna hype the forum up, gonna tell you about the forum because the forum is going to be your lifeblood. It's your connection to the rest of the subject and make it a second home. Get in there and participate, engage and enjoy. There's a week zero thread, go post in it. And finally, uh, you're not the forgotten team. You're the team who I'm enabling to solo. I know that this course is popular with, uh, you know, if you're big on the internet and you kind of like your self-service approaches and that, go for it, do it. We support you, we back you. This is a legit part of how we do things. If you need to reach out to me, uh, the email address is the official channel. If you want to chat over the socials, I'm on a bunch of them under uh, my full name there. And consultation times, I do have appointment bookings beyond just, obviously the Monday may not be useful for you. Um, I've got Monday, Tuesday appointments, but I do have some other times available or just reach out and drop us an email. Who knows, you might get a response back saying, all right, Teams meeting, how's it now for you? Uh, we'll see how it goes. And that, my friends, is the Shadowhawker session. Welcome, it is, there'll be about 15 to 20 minutes uh, each week of video plus the interactive events. It is up to you to interact with materials, the documents, but otherwise, see you on the forums, see you on the course, and welcome.